Hello, everybody. I am back from the 2022 Grand Pacific Open. Um, I came back yesterday. As a reminder, I, I've actually been waiting to go to this tournament for three years now. I went back, I went to this specific tournament back in 2019, and it was my favorite tournament that I've ever been to. Um, and then the pandemic hit and uh, had to take had to wait uh, in, uh, two years um, before Over the Board continued. And yeah, finally got to go back to the tournament again. Um, it's, it's held in uh, Victoria, BC, Canada, which is uh, a very, very beautiful city. And it's right in the heart of downtown, right on the waterfront. Lots of interesting things nearby. Um, and it's held, it was held over the Easter weekend. It's a beautiful beautiful venue, uh, great event. Um, and there were, um, there were, I think about 190 players at this tournament. So quite, quite large. I played in the under 1700 section, which was actually the largest section by far. We had, I think 77 players in the section. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's, uh, that tells the tale there. Um, yeah, so I'm, let's take a look at round one. Um, so round one, I was playing against Norman Batisse. He's an older, an older player, an older gentleman. I've, um, I've seen him around before. I've actually volunteered, um, to, was to help, you know, help with the tournament set up before, uh, with, with Norman as well. And uh, we, we usually be joke to each other. So he, he's he's a jovial, friendly guy. Um, and this was my first time playing against him. He he's rated eleven ninety one, but th that's because he he recently had a couple of really really bad tournaments <laughs> where he like lost every game. So uh, I think um, though I could should I check it out? Should I check? Yeah, let me very quickly in a window here in the background. I'm just going to look at his, um, just give me one second, his rating in the past. Um, Cause he's, it's, it's normally a little bit higher than this. Yes. Okay. So, well, yeah, not significantly, but um, dun, 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 dun. so before, yeah, like, 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 yeah, two tournaments ago he was he was in the thirteen hundreds. So he dropped about two hundred points in the last two tournaments. He had a really bad past two tournaments. Okay. Anyways, yeah, let's take a look at this game. Let me make sure I go to the right window. Okay, um, I did prepare against him. Um, not that you know it was necessary, but I always like to do my homework. Um, and yeah, he, he played a bunch of different stuff. So I, I, I just, he, he didn't really, he doesn't really know theory that deep, or at least not from my research. Um, but yeah, anyways, I did prepare for him. Okay, so let's take a look at the game. Sorry about that. So he played E4, which I was expecting. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Am I gonna have to rec record this whole video? Okay, so you know what? I was white. But for some reason, I have this. Yeah, I have this wrong. So, you know, that's very annoying. Um, if you bear with me here, because I don't want to redo that whole intro, and I'm going to just change this around here, the player names. Um, so let me edit edit that on the fly. I know it's not professional, but I I do not want to re re record that. So there we go. See, it's not a big deal. Wasn't that painful? And did I spell his last name right? I think I did because I know in the past I spelled one of my opponent's names incorrectly. So let me just double check on that as well. Yeah, T I S S E. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I got that sorted. Thanks for bearing with me. Okay, I was white. I was white and I played E4 and he played E5. Now I, I forget what I forget what I actually in my research what he oh I think he played the Roy yeah I think he played Knight C I think he plays Knight C six 
Um, and that's what I had prepared. And I played knight f3. And then he thought for a while here, which was weird, right? It's move two. And he was thinking for a while. Um, and then he kind of shocked me with his move. Um, now, this is strange because I've never seen him play this. Like in, in all of the games that he's played, I've never seen him play this move. And I don't know why he decided to play it against me. Maybe he did homework against me um, and wanted to throw me for a loop. Um, yeah, he played d5. So that was very surprising. Um, yeah, so the elephant gambit. Um, I, I, you know, I face this online from time to time. Um, yeah, anyways, that definitely surprised me. So I took and he played what I expected he would play, which was e4. Um, and if this was a blitz game, I, I would have played queen e2 right away because I just remember, that's just what I remember the main line to be. I was, you know, pretty confident that queen e2 was a main line, but playing over in a serious over the board tournament, sometimes, well, often I will second guess myself because there's so much on the line and I just want to be really careful. So I, I was starting to wonder if it was it actually bishop b5 check. Was that actually the main line? We go bishop b5 check first. But then I refuted that um, pretty quickly because I think just, I think c6 um, repels bishop b5. So I think c6 and then after d takes, c takes, and then I've got two pieces hanging. So I thought about it for a little while and then I played queen e2. And... I forget what main line is here. I, I like. I think. I think black actually takes. On. On d five, I think that's the main line. But there might also be other moves like maybe knight f six or something. But for some reason, I had an inkling that he might play f five here. I just figured, if he's going to play d five, he might just go all out and play f five, and he did play f five. So I I wasn't that shocked. At the same time, I was pretty sure that this is not correct um, because I've, you know, I've, I've, I've played this before, even though I don't, uh, I don't, I didn't remember it very well. I just don't remember F5 being a move. So I thought at best it's dubious, you know, so I wasn't really worried about it, but I, it was a little bit of a pain because, you know, you got to be careful, right? You still have to be really careful. So you know, if it's a blitz game, it doesn't really matter. But in a classical game, you have to be careful. So, um, yeah, I played d3, which the computer ended up liking. And then I can't explain my opponent's next move. Um, it just makes no sense, and I can't explain it. So if you can explain it, you let me know. But he, he played h6. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's because it, I mean, yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe he's planning G5 and he wants to just do this crazy pawn storm, but, uh, he has to develop. It's, I mean, he has nothing developed. It's Kings in the center and, uh, he's down a pawn. So. He's got to like re regain his pawn or develop or, or something, but yeah, not h6. So that was, yeah, that was pretty strange. Um, yeah, so I took on e4. He played knight f6. And I played knight c3. And he played queen e7. Played e5. I mean, what can I say? I have nothing to say. Okay, knight fd7, e6. Knight f6, knight e5. So knight e5, I, I wasn't 100% sure about knight e5. I think the computer liked it, but um, I wasn't quite sure because, you know, the queen is still on e2, which is good, but it is blocking my light squared bishop. And I was thinking maybe I should just kind of untangle myself, make, like, bring the, you know, move the queen, get my light squared bishop out and castle just to consolidate my position. Um... But at the same time, knight d5 gives me access to, to tactics. 
Um, yeah, so I played knight e5. He played rook g8, you know, avoiding the fork on g6. How do you how do you do circles? Um, there we go. Okay. Well, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well, foreshadowing. Um, yeah, so I played knight g6. And I forget it, I forget where it was, but there was um, a tactic that I had calculated. I can't remember if it was this move or the previous move or the next move. It might have been. It might have been. It might have been here if Black had played something, um, or even the move before. I can't remember. So unfortunately, anyways, yeah. So he played Queen B four. A three. Queen a5, e7. I mean, there's, I, there's really not much to say. That's why I'm not really, there's, there's really not much to say in this game. So uh, knight e4. Second queen on move 14. <laughs> wow. Two queens by move 14. Okay. Rook takes f3. Queen a6. F takes e4. Queen takes... Bishop takes, F takes, Knight takes. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, then he resigned. Um, he said something to me, but I didn't catch it. I'm, I'm hard of hearing. So, yeah, I think this was literally the most lopsided over the board tournament game that I've ever played, at least where I won. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. It's, I've... What can I, I, I'm, I'm without words. What's more insane is that my opponent actually won his next game and then drew the game after that, which is surprising after seeing this game. Like, I'm not trying to trash talk him. He's, he's a nice guy, but um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so where did he go wrong? Well, Elephant Gambit to start. I mean, it's actually, Black can be very tricky with it. So like, it, if Black plays really well, it, it can actually be a headache for white. But if you're going to play the elephant gambit, you have to like really know it. And he didn't. Um, and then really, I mean, F5 was was bad. I, you know, F5 was really bad. And then H6 just was the nail in the coffin. You know, he, he didn't get anything for his pawn. And he, his king is totally exposed. So this is really kind of game over with H6. Everything else was just, I mean, like I, if he had played, you know, like probably from this position, I can, well, I shouldn't say this, but you know, I could probably beat like a much stronger player, like maybe uh, like a, like a 2000 rated player over the board, you know, from this position. So yeah. Anyways, that was round one. The, the easiest game I've ever, ever played in a tournament game, I, I feel, um, I felt, you know, I, I always hate when I'm playing down and and then I get white. But I think that's how it works in a Swiss system. I think often, the, I think usually if you're the higher rated player, I think you start with white. Um, I, you know, I would much rather have faced black so that I get white against stronger players. You know what I mean? Um, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, so this, this, this round, round one was played in the evening. The rounds were, um, the evening rounds were started at 6 p.m. And then the, the, the first rounds in the day started at noon. So this, the first day, there was only one round. Um, and then I was able to um, get ready for, for the second round uh, the next day. Yeah, anyways, that's round one. It wasn't a long game. Wasn't very much to talk about. But uh, hopefully, hopefully... Um, Round two. Let, 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 let me. I've got my score sheets here. Let me see. What, what was round two again? Yeah, round two was actually. There's a, a lot of stuff happened in round two, and it was a long. It was a long game. It was a very long game. So, stay tuned for round two coming up next. Thank you.